A Fox News alert and a police chase taking place right now in residential streets in Dallas, Texas. Uh, the person driving that uh, silver car there in the uh, upper left-hand corner of the screen, just behind the trees, as you can see, is someone, well, and we thought maybe it was coming to an end, uh, somebody who is wanted by police, apparently. Uh, they tried to pull him over, we're told, in the 4200 block of North Jim Miller. That's the road in Dallas, Texas, and this driver took off. Why? Well, who knows? You never know why these things happen. Um, but KDFW is on it from their chopper, as you can see. Uh, it is going through residential streets, and it even looked like an alley back there just a moment ago. But police are continuing the pursuit. That did look where it into, John. And, uh, we're trying to find out more information about exactly this area that the cars are driving around at this time. Looks mainly residential. Uh, we're nearing midday, about an hour difference there in Dallas, so just after 10 o'clock in the morning. So most of the commuting traffic is gone. But the big question about why this guy is running, of course, is always the question that we bring up in a car chase. We don't know if there's anybody else in the car. It's very limited at this time. But a little deja vu, John, because earlier in this week we had another car chase at a low speed out in Los Angeles. So a little bit of a trend here. I wonder what's going on. That's certainly the case, Jenna. This uh, guy doesn't seem to know exactly where he's going, uh, just driving around residential streets. It's all taking place uh, a little bit south of the I-30 and a little bit west of I-635 and east of I-45 in Dallas. Again, just off of uh, Jim Miller. Jim Miller Road is, is my understanding of where this traffic stop originally took place. And again, just when it seems like the guy is slowing down and is ready to give up, and maybe that's going to happen here now, it does seem that the cars have come to a stop. The KDFW chopper, again, is following this for us from the air. And we do appear to have, uh, well, the vehicle come to a stop. Yep, and there, goes the, there goes the guy taking off on foot. That rarely ends well. Maybe he thinks he can outrun the one officer in the black and white patrol car. Uh, maybe he's not watched enough of these police chases on TV to to know that when you get three or four or five cars involved, you're not going to have much luck. You know, tough to know at this point, especially with the foliage. As you can see, it's tough for us to to see what actually is happening on the ground there. But, John, this might be the, the time that really the police officers are the most vulnerable because now they're out in the open. You don't know if this guy has a weapon or anything like that. And uh, you got to think of the law enforcement at the time. What do, you see on the top of your screen, almost on that roof, there's someone walking. It almost looks, I don't know if that's a roof at the very tip top of the screen. Yeah, I think that's a... We don't have control of this helicopter shot, obviously. And as we learn more, uh, we will bring that to you. Again, a police chase in Dallas looks like it's on foot right now. And as we get a better visual on it, we'll bring you back there to show you more.